Welcome back to this already, the final segment of my favorite radio show, The Price of Business. I'm talking to you about you and your business. I'm going to talk about a little bit about getting healthy and staying healthy. Heather Shell, she's on the show, and uh, she is awesome. Great friend, uh, personally, a great friend of this radio program, and always delighted to have you on the show. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. Doing great. Great. Tell me what's going on with you. Tell us a little bit about all the things you do, and uh, kind of give us an update. Sure, absolutely. Well, uh, uh, personal training uh, is, is, has been a, a part of my life for 17 years, and I continue to work one-on-one with people in their homes and uh, at a gym, and I'm always doing that. And uh, so it's to confuse people. I also have an organization, a nonprofit organization that uh, started with my girlfriend called Boot Campaign, uh, which is completely different from boot camp, but we support veterans as they return home from combat and help them reassimilate back into the life that uh, we so appreciate and that they have provided for us here at home. So those yeah. are my two uh, major projects, and um, as you well know, there occasionally those two things, those two worlds collide, and um, that's probably what I'll bother everybody about today again. <laughs> yeah, and not to mention your other two projects, which are two uh, twin boys. So you got you got two projects running all over the place. Yes, yes. I, I, They certainly keep me busy, but it is a good, healthy reminder of what it's all about. <laughs> yes, my uh, my producer and I were admiring the photos of the Boot Girl uh, campaign um, executive board. Very, very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> so, I so take that after a few years, but I appreciate that. Yeah, Heather. Um, in this year, for me, uh, I've, I've, you know, I now exercise daily and have now for over a month, and uh, have lost over fifteen pounds in the last month and a half. What? And so, yeah, can you believe that? And so it's no been. I haven't seen you. Well, you if I keep it up, you won't. No one will see me. Uh, <laughs> I'll just be. I'll, I'll be ahead walking around. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been amazing. I've lost. Uh, I've. I've lost. Uh, I'm, I'm down two pant sizes in the last thirty days. Oh my gosh! Congratulations! Yeah. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Well, except it's scary now when I sneeze. But yeah, absolutely. It's been. It's been very cool. So, um, I. You know, I got tired of it, and I'm amazed how much energy I have now than I had before, and and recouping it, and not only am I exercising, eating way better as well. And uh, not only in terms of uh, qu- quantity of calories, quality of calories, a lot more salads and those type of things. And so it's been good. You know, and those kind of things really build your self-esteem. Not only do they make you feel better physically, but it's those kind of things. You know, we get a kick out of those, uh, you know, candy bars and, you know, things like that. Pl- momentary pleasure. But they actually harm, I think, our self-esteem. Whereas those kind of things, that that extra lap, you know, when you when you walk and run, that uh, extra ten minutes in the gym or whatever, all those right. things really build your self-perception. Absolutely, I am so 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 impressed by you right now. That is amazing, and I think uh, you're, you're you're so right. It's it's so tied to self-esteem, and I think um, you know, food is pleasurable, no doubt about it. Uh, there's there's that's no secret, and I think that um, unfortunately sometimes it's that short-term reward, and we sacrifice the long-term gain. That really does start to have an effect on on a lot of things, physically and mentally. And it's hard to realize that you don't feel great until you, you know, make a few changes and you do feel really good about yourself from the inside out. And I think that I was just telling, talking with one of my clients this morning about. Um, that my job is um, kind of like tricking people to believe that they enjoy what they're doing when they're at the gym. <laughs> yes. But it's, it's the truth. I think that there's some, something to be said for finding something you can enjoy and not to stick to it, but not um, to over-committing yourself in the beginning, because it really is just just doing a little something every day or just doing the extra lap or just doing the other 10 minutes. You know, that's how it starts. And big, big changes can happen with, with you know, small things in the beginning. So kudos to you. Yeah, and and it, and it will grow almost naturally. You know that that twenty minutes that I began with is now rarely m- less than thirty minutes. I don't do much more than that. I'm doing it every day. I don't feel like I need to. You know, and uh, but I, I might go a little longer because, frankly, it's just easier to do it. And what was a mile and you know fifteen minutes becomes uh, a little more than that in the same time frame. That type of thing. It really does add up. 
Um, yeah, it does. It does add up. And I think I think a lot of people have a have a misconception that you're supposed to be miserable when you exercise. And and uh, I think also along with personal training, there's a misconception. Uh, I mean, it depends on the trainer, but that that a trainer's going to you know bark at you and make you miserable and you know, make you sore and, you know, all of those things. And really, at least, you know, from the way our business handles it is, you know, we want to make you see that being healthy is should be rewarding, it should be enjoyable. And, you know, are you ever sore? Yeah, maybe that happens. But, but you really should enjoy it, want to show up and exercise, want to get there. And sometimes, you know, if you can't take that first step on your own, you, you know, invest a little money in getting some accountability there. And, and we can can help with that because, you know, and in the experience that you're having to speaking to that, it's, it's so great. It feels so good when you sleep better and your body works more efficiently and, and you, you lose some of that body fat and walk around a little taller and feel proud of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm uh, now a big believer, at least early on, maybe for like the first 90 days doing something every single day, something. Mm-hmm. And it's just so that you become habitual about it. What do you think about that? I, I agree 100%. And it doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be anything major. If you start with 10 minutes every day, just make yourself walk out the door and walk around the block and come home. I guarantee you, you'll be motivated to want to do more because you can and you feel so much better. But yeah, absolutely. Developing a habit is, in my opinion, in my experience, has been the hardest part. It's it's not doing it, it's being consistent about doing it. That is the big challenge that most people face. So absolutely, in the very beginning, just do something and do it every day and make it small, you know, so that you can be motivated to want to do more. Heather, uh, by the way, how do people reach you to get you to help them with their uh, coaching needs? Accountability is huge. Uh, and you're not only an, a great person for accountability, you're a great person for exhortation and encouragement, which is really what people need always, but especially early on. How can people learn more and reach out to you to get uh, more information? Uh, right now we are revamping our website, so you can't find me there right now, but you can find me on Facebook at Heather Scholl or at Prescription Fitness. We have a page there. And then you can shoot me an email, Heather Scholl at Yahoo.com. And what do you got going on with the boot campaign, by the way, at bootcampaign.com? Yes, bootcampaign.com is that other thing that sounds like boot camp, but it's not. We support veterans, and we have our biggest fundraiser coming up. And this is a thing, my world collide with this one. It's called Push-Ups for Charity. And anybody across the nation can host an event. I happen to be hosting one here in Houston. And it is on May 17th, which is Armed Forces Day. It's a Saturday. And what we are doing is encouraging people to show up. And you can do push-ups or not. (laughs) <laughs> or you can come and just enjoy the fun and donate money to Boot Campaign. And our, as you know, Boot Campaign supports uh, patriotism, awareness, and programming for veterans. And this particular event is actually runs from May 17th to June 20th with our flagship event in Nashville and the final event in Washington, D.C. Biggest fundraisers get to fly free up to Washington, D.C. and participate. Um, but our goal is $1 million raised and $1.14 million push-up for every, one push-up for every active duty service person. Mm-hmm. Very, very good. And how do we uh, get more information about that? That one would be pushupsforcharity.com. Pushupforcharity.com. I will tell you that push-ups have not been part of my exercise regimen. <laughs> Right, and that is okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but who knows? Maybe between now and then, who knows what I might do. But thanks so much for being with us, as always. Thank you for having me. I love being on with you, Kevin. You do a great job, and, and give those babies uh, my love. And uh, we'll look forward to having you on again soon. Heather Scholl, make sure you check out the great work she's doing. Uh, check out bootcampaign.com, too. Phenomenal work there. I'm Kevin Price. Enjoyed being with you here today. Do want to remind you, the uh, best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. While there, like it on Facebook and follow it on Twitter. Have a great rest of your day and spend it right here on this station.